Boo. Well, uh, last one for the night. But, um, I just want to let y'all know I'm also doing something. I found, I was looking up heirloom varieties. Uh, mostly because my, we all know what Monsanto's got going on. So, um, excuse me. In the process of looking up heirloom varieties, I stumbled on a couple different types of corn. As well as one individual in the chats, I think it was Tech T. Correct me if I'm wrong in the chat, put your name out there. Um, that was cooking a lotus corn or a lote corn. It's a Mexican style corn. Um, so it got me to digging. And I wound up finding at least, at least three different varieties of corn that I wound up purchasing. Um, one was a blue Hopi, as in Hopi Indian. Um, the other was a, oh man, but there was two of them. One was an amethyst, it was supposed to be a deep purple, but the, the, the one, I forget what it was called, but I'm sure a little digging on Amazon, you'll be able to find it. Point is, is it could be used, all of them can be used for cornmeal. And seed corn again. But, the one thing about this third variety is, is it's, it's it was supposedly rare in the description. But I don't know how exactly rare it was if it was on Amazon. But, apparently you can either turn it into cornmeal or you can make popcorn out of it now one thing i learned as a youngster back when studying homesteading and how things started out in the early days in this country is popcorn was actually the breakfast cereal of the early homesteaders in a lot of ways kind of like A toaster we all take a toaster for granted as you push the lever down it it bakes your toast and gets it crispy but an original toaster was actually a piece of wrought iron on a spindle that set just close enough to the fire to cook the bread and the 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 way the reason it got its name was is because the woman of the house or whoever was cooking breakfast would stir the spindle with their toe. So it was a toe stir. And that's what got your bread done. But I hope this all helps you. Check out those things. Um, keep your heads up. We ain't lost yet. You get your picture. <laughs>